Are you having trouble putting on muscle? Well, I'm gonna show you what's the number one reason you're not putting on muscle. Roll the video. What's up guys? Y'all saw the intro? Y'all heard the intro? I'm gonna show you guys in this video, I'm gonna show you guys why you guys are not putting muscle. You guys are working out, but you're not putting on quality muscle. I'm gonna show you guys right now in this video, guys. What's up guys? What's up YouTube? This is Albert Silver representing Destination Kiyas Narat! You get the traps, man! Alright guys, let's get into it guys. When we're talking about pushing weight, we're talking about lifting weight, Hey man, just because we're talking about moving weight, pushing weight, it doesn't mean that's how we're doing. We're not pushing weight, we're pushing weight, but we're not concentrating on the pushing of the weight. We're concentrating on the feel of the muscle. Yeah, we call it pushing weight because that's what it is on the outside, but reality, you're not really worried about how much weight you're pushing. At least you shouldn't. You shouldn't worry about how much weight you're pushing and you shouldn't just go through the motions of just pushing the weight. There's a lot more to it. When you want to talk about muscle, there's a lot more that goes into it. It's just not the simple motion of the muscle contraction. It's not what it's about. When you're talking about putting on muscle, when we're talking about pushing weight, man, you need to concentrate on how the muscle feels, the contraction of the muscle, how you feel pushing it. It's got to hurt, guys. Guys, when you're pushing weight, quote unquote, when you're pumping iron, you need to understand that you're not gonna get anywhere if you're just pushing weight. Now you're just doing a function. And when you're trying to build muscle, it's not about function. It's not about just extending your arms or just curling your arms. It's not about that. What it is, is it's, it's a little, it's more detailed. You gotta, at that point, you wanna put on muscle or lose weight, right? You, you gotta worry about the contraction, the feel, the burn. You gotta feel, you gotta think about all those things. It's just not about, long just put on some weight I'm gonna push that weight no it's not what it's about and that's how people get hurt that's how people don't improve that's how people uh, you could be doing you could be doing the same movement forever and see minute increases of strength and muscle but if you worry about the meat and potatoes the meat and potatoes is how that body part how how your mind muscle connection is and what I mean is you gotta know that when you're doing the chest you gotta make sure that that chest is contracting and is burning if you walk out of the gym after a chest Day and your chest isn't absolutely hurting you or and or after each set if that chest isn't completely wanting to pop if it just it just just wants to tear if you don't have that feeling of your your chest muscles wanting to tear when you're doing a chest uh, 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 a set you didn't do that set correctly simple as that I'm gonna tell you it's simple as that man you want to put on muscle every single set when we're talking about chest right we're talking about chest every single set that chest muscle it has to feel like it wants to burn like it wants to tear like you have a, a deep pain in that muscle. That's the only way you're gonna grow that muscle, man. That's the only way. And if you're not doing that, you're not doing it correctly, man. But the emphasis, let's just say we're working on the traps, on the back. So when you're lifting weights, you're doing a pulling motion, right? So when you're doing a pulling motion, you're supposed to come here and you're supposed to tighten. You're supposed to tighten the back. So you're supposed to, when you're, when you're here, you come and you squeeze as hard as you can. So, so when you come here, you squeeze the back as hard as you can. And when you release it, you still you still have tension on your traps, on your back. You still have that tension. You still have that tight back. Don't release it. Don't relax. You don't relax while you're working out. You don't, you don't, you don't come here to relax. You come here to pump some iron. So as you're releasing, I'm gonna use one hand. So when you're releasing, you still got the back. You still got the lats tight. And you still got some tension on your scapula, on the back, on the whole back. You still tighten it up. But when you're here, you just touch, you just touch and go. You don't hang out, you don't sit there and take a breath. You don't. You'll, you'll come up, touch and go. And then when you come here, you just you tighten up that back. You tighten up everything. Sometimes you tighten up the chest. You tighten up that whole upper body. You, you tighten up everything. You tighten up everything, man! And then you release. But when you release, you don't just release. You just kind of go slowly, control sometimes. It helps if you just go slowly. If you go slowly, you're gonna keep that tension on that, uh, that back, that lat, that scapula. You're gonna keep that tension back there. And then when you come, you tighten and you go as hard as you can. That's what you guys gotta do. Now we're talking about chest. You're going chest, right? You're doing chest, you're doing pushing. Same, same concept. Everything's the same, man. You wanna put on muscle, you gotta work everything out the same. So what you gotta do is, you're doing chest, you're doing bench press, right? You go here, and when you go, when you get up here, you tighten up the chest. Almost like you want to squeeze 
together. So you, you want to squeeze up the elbows, not up the hands. You want to squeeze up the elbows. You're like, yeah, squeeze, squeeze. That's what you got to do. And you don't relax. So when you push, you go slowly and, and you want to keep that tension on the chest. You want to keep that tension. So as you're pushing, you want to keep that tight. And when you get at the top, that's when you squeeze it hard and you come down. But when you're coming down on the negative, you keep that chest tight. Don't release it. Don't relax. You keep it tight. And, and you can kind of relax down here because you're not really relaxing. But you keep it here. You can pause at the bottom if you like. And you go slowly or you can go fast. But whatever you do, keep the chest contracted. Keep the tension on the chest. Don't let it go. Don't release it. Don't relax it. Because that's when you get the muscle growth. You, you, you go. You, you, got the you got the chest squeezed. And you got the arms. Everything squeezed. Everything. The whole upper body is nice and tight. And you go up. Then you squeeze at the top. Then you relax and you're coming down, but you don't relax. You're coming down and you still got that tension. And then you go right here. You can hold it for a couple of seconds. And if you like, you can go up slowly. See, you're going up slowly, slowly, but you keep that contracted. You keep it nice and tight. And as you're going up, it's getting tighter and tighter. And then when you're at the top, you, you squeeze the muscle, man. You squeeze the muscle. Guys, that's the number one rule. Don't relax in between the reps. Don't rat, don't rest while you're doing this. Don't rest ever. When you're done with the set, then you rest. When you're on under the weight, when you're under tension, you don't rest. You just keep that muscle tight. Whatever muscle you're doing, you keep it tight, man. That's how you're gonna get growth. If you're not getting growth, I guarantee you it's because of that. Guys, let's put on some muscle. Hope you like this video. I hope this tip was good. Guys, let me know what you guys think. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. I'm Albert Silver representing Destination Kings Ashley!